What's up? Good morning. Just taking a break. I got her under the bank. Something wrong with my bank account. Really annoying. I don't know why they screw stuff up so much. Anyways. Let's go. Got the bank stuff sorted out. Such a pain. And I uh, just stopped at Harvest for a few minutes to talk about some things. And now actually, I might be doing this job tomorrow. Filming something. I haven't really ever filmed anything professionally. So that'll be interesting. Right now, I'm gonna go pick up a few uh, things from the photo store that I just feel like I should get. So I just picked up something I've been meaning to get for a while. Actually, <laughs> it's um an ND filter, a neutral density filter. So, right here. Goes on the end of my lens, and what it does, it's kind of like adding sunglasses, I guess, is an easy way to explain it, in front of the lens, so that you can have a slower shutter speed, even in the bright sunlight. It'll really help out with some of the car photography I do, and uh, when it's like in the middle of the day, it's super bright. But mostly it'll be good for doing like landscapes, water, you know, like that smooth water effect. You can't do that during the day because it's too bright, you can't get a slow shutter. All that kind of stuff. Depth and slow shutter. So, kind of excited about that. I'm gonna go try it out right now, I think. You can change the darkness, which is pretty cool. Don't get to keep my lens hood on though, which kind of sucks. And I don't have like a protector ring for it, but just got to be careful with it, I guess. It's kind of funny, this is like maybe seven minutes from my house. I don't think I've ever actually been to this waterfall. And uh, it's really cool. It was like, I don't know, it's right off the road. You can see it from the road, but it's not that far of a walk. I just never took the effort to come here. I don't know why. Anyways, check this out. One second. This is what you get without the without the neutral density. See how you can like see the water and it's just like a stationary water kind of thing. But you turn the neutral density filter to the max in this case, then you get that really cool effect. And the reason for this is because it's darker so you can have a longer exposure and uh, still maintain the aperture that you want. In this case, it's not that necessary. I probably could have still got that effect uh, because I'm not really doing much depth here, but that's just one example of what you can do with it. Another thing I can do is, because I do these time lapses all the time, something like this, I can still have depth in my time lapse 
and have like a long exposure so that it looks a lot cooler. Kind of like this. Another fun thing to do is to sit at that intersection and watch all the people just run the stop sign. Because I was only there for like 10 minutes and I saw several. Funny. Final thing for the day, maybe. I've got to go to the first class of the class that I'm TAing for tonight. It's actually a pretty cool class. The students basically learn how to make a product from concept all the way to design. It's a fourth year class and they get into groups and they just have this pretty much a project for the entire semester. It's good because I just meet with the groups and advise them on what to do and what to change. Pretty cool. It's been a while since I've been in a classroom. That was fun. What's up? I believe it's the end of today's vlog. So, it was good to get out early and in the middle of the day to get some photographs because that's kind of how I know, that's like the one defining thing in my day that I know I need to do. The filming is an endless process that uh, just continues to happen. Whereas when I go out and get some photos and I know I've got a good one that I can either post on Instagram or, I don't know, do some type of adventure, then I know my day is done. And today it happens to be a little bit earlier for a good reason, and I'm also very happy about that. It's only about 9.30, which is strange. I'm normally doing this at least after 12. But tomorrow I will be doing a behind-the-scenes shoot. I'll be filming a behind the scenes for a magazine movie shoot. Did I say that already? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. And uh, it's going to be interesting. It's something I haven't done before. It's going to be a cool photo shoot. I don't know what I can include in the vlog, but I'll try to get as much as I can. But it's at a good time. i got to be there around 11. It's about 50 minutes away. But I'm going to get a good sleep, just so my mind is restful and ready to be creative and do something that I really haven't done before. So it should be an adventure. This will be really interesting and it should be fun. And I can't wait to play with my new ND filter because I've got so many things up here that I've wanted to do with one. Exciting. So as always everybody you know, be good and good night.